Hello and welcome back to Come Geeksum. If you are new to the channel, please like and subscribe for future content. A video I posted this morning, well this afternoon sorry, was in regards to that umbrella guy and the people who were stalking him and attacking children. These are people who are on the kick Vic side and it's just gone absolutely disgusting. It's gone worse than what it was. So, over the last couple of hours, I've been keeping tabs on all of this and finding out what's happening. So, what we have here now is, three hours ago, we'll say, um, that umbrella guy, go watch his channel, go subscribe to him. You know, uh, so yeah, I left a link in my last video regarding his Indiegogo uh, book. I'll leave the link below as well. So please go and help him, go and support him, because this is just wrong. But three hours ago, that umbrella guy posted, Lombardi and his ilk are now spinning him attacking my kid as attack on the book and not his kid. Right, you've obsessed over my kid for months. You've posted about her repeatedly. You've obsessed over CG so much it's destroyed your job. This is the comic industry. Demand a better prose. And what he's done, he's taken screenshots of the actual conversation that Mark Lombardi, the disgusting human who has actually called that umbrella guy a pedo and everything else. Holy crap. Apparently, referring to a five-year-old demon girl in Tug McDraw's fantasy comic is bringing out all of the Tug trolls. And Mr. McDraw himself. In saying I'm talking about his daughter, unless she's a five-year-old demon, I said no such thing. But that's comic gators for you. I mean, you didn't know he even had a child because none of us care about him as a person or what his life is like. I also assumed it was a bleed man situation. No, I knew he had a child, but she's a toddler. This is clearly a demon thing that is five years old in his self-insertion fantasy comic book. But the thing is, though, Mark Lombardi has been attacking that Umbrella guy's child and other children trying to get to him you know when they go up and now you know they say oh no it's not this it's not that you can see they're trying to do damage control now they have realized what they've done and they're like shit i need to actually uh, backpedal i need to say i want talking about children i want doing this i want doing that you know they're going on saying i wasn't talking about his kid but they were all having the conversation saying i think child protection services should be involved Straight away, that just screams nastiness on their behalf. And them saying that, it's like, come on. Oh, I never really meant to say that. It's not about that. It's a cop. It's a comic book. It's this, it's that. So it's like, come on, you know. But um, another one as well. Good old Renfamous. She has said she's had death threats because of this. Well... I No one has seen these death threats. People have asked you for these and there's nothing there. You know, when you're saying you've had death threats, again, okay, no, you know, death threats are not right. You shouldn't be doing that for anyone. But no one has been doing them. Because when you just go around and all you're saying is this, you know, oh, there, you know, there's death threats, they're out to get me. Yeah, okay, love. There's another one, which is... The umbrella, you know, Chrissy targeted Lola for months because she decided we were fucking. And yesterday she says people should hunt down pics of Lola's kids because they're my two kids. Which is what they, she did say. Go on Google and look for the kids. Newsflash. I only have one kid and one on the way. You idiots stalked the wrong person. And what Chrissy has done, she's uh, posted the following. It wasn't a troll. It was six months before Comics Gate got huge press. She posted multiple pics of her two kids, her and the um, that umbrella guy, shopping at Hobby Lobby, painting her nails with her kids, all kinds of stuff. She's lying. I don't have any history of lying, but believe whichever one you want us to believe. This whole issue with the kick Vic side going after that umbrella guy and his family... It just shows how disgusting they are as human beings. I don't think you can even call them human beings after what they've done uh, over the last 24 or so hours. When you look 
and through at uh, that umbrella guy's Twitter feed as well. A lot of it, he's literally trying to defend himself, and he's having a go at them as well. But every time they know that they're losing an argument against him, they automatically bring up children and everything else, which is absolutely ludicrous, and it's astonishing that they think that this is going to help them win. It's just one, you know, a few of them by here. So obviously, when you got that Mark Lombardi guy, he's he's revised his old tweet. In the old tweet, he had um, the word pedo in and everything else, but now he's changed it, and the pedo word's been taken out, and he's oh, corrected response. It's almost like he's gone back and thought, "Ooh, you know what? Maybe I shouldn't have said that. I'll say something else instead." Again. Twitter is not going to go away if you delete the tweet. It's still going to be there on the internet. People will and have taken screenshots of what you've said. It's it's just the way that they're going after a five-year-old child. It just go. <laughs> that's the part that I cannot seem to understand. It's when you're going after a five-year-old child and you're in your what. I'd probably say late 20s to early 40s, because a lot of the people on the Kickvick side, well, ones who have come out, they're around that age and they think they're better than they know better than everyone else. But that umbrella guy, he has done the best thing. He's um, He's been in touch with Texas Police Department and to see how he can file reports there and get all this sorted, because the majority of these people are from Texas. So... Which is really good. He has posted as well on Twitter saying he's done it. He's contacted the Texas Police Department. Which is brilliant and it's the best thing he can do. But when they're aiming at children and they're going against other people's children. Just to try and get one up on someone. That's low man. That is... These people want to see, you know, want to show the world that are oh, that they're right, you know, and they're good and all this kind of stuff, and you know, they're the righteous way of doing things. It's just showing and putting people in the bad light. Monica Real, Jamie Marshy, and all these type of people, these are the ones who they condone, and you know, they're like, yeah, yeah we support them. Um, Joe Casada, Marvel, you know, one time big Marvel editor. He condones what Renfamous is doing and her people are doing. It's disgusting. And going through that Umbrella Guy's tweets, it all seems to be because his comic in on uh, Indiegogo is doing better than Renfamous's toilet paper uh, comic is doing better than his. And it's had more backing and it's done by less people. It just goes to show that people are behind that umbrella guy more than Renfamous. Renfamous has actually lost a bit of money on their um, Kickstarter, I believe. I believe they've lost a couple of... Uh, I think it's gone down by a grand. Maybe two. I'm not too sure at the time of this video. But when these people are going on Twitter and out of their way, they're just tweeting all day long, just nonsense and absolute bull. Just to rile someone up and get one up on them. It shows they haven't got a life. You know? They haven't got any day-to-day goings-ons. They haven't got to look after one. Even if they look after themselves. But by this, it doesn't seem they do. Because all they do is just literally sit in their computer. Or sit with their phone now glued to their faces. And they're just tweeting nasty stuff out to people. You know? Again, when Yellow Flash said he heard someone in a Google Hangout, they heard what they were going to do. Again, if that is the case, then that again, that's just disgusting. It's you, you, They are literally a hate mob. I don't know how anyone on the Kick Vic side who are there for the genuine reason of Kick Vic. So obviously, you know, if they all if they all believe and they trust in these people and they condone what these people are doing, well. It just goes to show what type of people those those lots actually are. If you are new to the channel, please like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell for future updates and we'll see you soon.